we want to evaluate the given expressions. When we have an expression in the form of a fraction, we simplify the numerator and denominator separately, and then simplify the fraction. So if it's helpful, we can think of having parentheses around the numerator and the denominator. Simplifying in the numerator, negative three plus one is equal to negative two. If we need the review, we can model this sum on the number line. For negative three, we begin at zero and move left three units to negative three on the number line. And then because we are adding positive one from negative three, we move right one unit to negative two on the number line, giving us a sum of negative two. In the denominator, we have four plus eight, which is 12, which gives us negative two twelfths, but this does simplify because two and 12 share a common factor of two. To simplify, we divide the numerator and denominator by two. Negative two divided by two is equal to negative one, and 12 divided by two is equal to six. The expression simplifies to negative one-sixth. Looking at the second expression, again we can think of having parentheses around the numerator and denominator. In the numerator we have negative six minus negative two. Subtracting a negative is equivalent to adding a positive, and therefore we can write negative six minus negative two as negative six plus two. Then negative six plus two is equal to negative four. And again, if we need to, we can model this on the number line. Starting at zero, we move left six units to negative six. And then because we are adding positive two from negative six, we move right two units to negative four. In the denominator, we have negative eight plus two, which is equal to negative six. And again, if needed, we could model this sum on the number line. And now we need to simplify. First, a negative divided by a negative is equal to a positive. This first simplifies to positive four, six. But then four and six share a common factor of two, and therefore we divide the numerator and denominator by two giving us the simplified fraction of two-thirds. I hope you found this helpful.